welcome everybody to this kind of later afternoon session of our analysis seminar, displaced because of the Morse lectures. And uh, our speaker today is uh, Masato Wakayama, and he will talk about arithmetic behind spectra of quantum interactions. Yes. Thank yeah, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, it is uh, my uh, great pleasure to be here. So I'm from the, the company now, and uh, this logo, uh, I, uh, original idea is by me. <laughs> yeah, you can see the in Institute of uh, Fundamental Mathematics and uh, so obvious reader, the OER program. Yeah. Let me start. Yeah. Oh. What? You get paid to do that, that's impressive. <laughs> so I'm talking about the uh, spectrum of many the uh, asymmetric kind of lab model. And uh, Ravi is uh, the physicist. Uh, uh, you may have heard his name as a uh, Ravi Oscillation, so on. And he uh, introduced a uh, same classical uh, version of uh, so called uh, Kandal Lab model in 1936. And later, the James uh, Cummings uh, uh, made a fully, fully uh, quantized version of the, uh, that model, and we call it uh, Kandal Lab model. And it is a theoretical model. But nowadays, uh, because uh, experimental techniques are very developed uh, highly, so that uh, it predicts uh, some uh, experimental measurement uh, correctly. So it is a theoretical and uh, experimental physics also interesting in uh, the, this model. And the Hamiltonian is, uh, as you see, the uh, HL epsilon equal omega Eta A, Eta A is a, a creation and annihilation operator, and uh, the sigma Z and sigma X is a power matrix. And uh, uh, the first part, first Eta A is obviously either the described a photon, a uh, Hamilton oscillator, and we can assume always omega is equal to the one. And delta is a two delta. Uh, this describes the, the interaction between a photon and uh, Two level atoms, yeah. and uh, delta is uh, two delta is a uh, uh, difference of the energy of the two level atom, and uh, g is a coupling constant uh, uh, between the, the photon and the matter, and uh, uh, the in the blue uh, letter I put uh, some bias epsilon sigma x. It has uh, the physical meaning, but uh, I, I'm not going to explain the uh, detail. Uh, because I'm just a mathematician, uh, I took uh, this kind of the physical model, but uh, I, I do not have a deep understanding of the physics. So, but anyway, uh, this is our target. And I like uh, the original uh, quantum lab model, uh, skip the zero node and HR. Uh, but both uh, the, ex or the theoretical and the, you, or the uh, experimentally uh, useful uh, model. And first, uh, the bias term, uh, this uh, gives us uh, uh, some rich mathematics, I believe yes. that. And actually, the, I will talk about the spectral degeneracy. It was not expected before uh, when epsilon uh, is not zero. And also, uh, according to the spectral Degeneracy, uh, we can formulate a hidden symmetry, and then we can bring uh, the, the very uh, concretely the uh, degeneracy and the hidden symmetry. I will show you. And uh, today, I don't, uh, I will not uh, talk about uh, the uh, eigenvalue spacing, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, so this is also the so interesting tema for me. Uh, I want to make sure I understand. So these annihilation creation operators, are, are these act, acting in a big box space or just? Yes, yes. What, 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 how, uh, oh, so for instance, a box space by uh, tensor the C2. Okay, so, uh, no. Um, so, I mean, is this, a, is this, are the A's just one particle? Yes. Just one part. Just one, one part. So they're acting on yes. L, L, yeah. L2 of R. Or yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. yes. L2 of R tensor C2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's not, a, it's not, a, not many by the sense yeah. that you have a full photon field or something. Like yeah. That, that yeah. would be more complicated. Yeah. Different. Yeah. So there are many so extensions of this study. Yeah, yeah. as you know. Oh. 
So the so I first uh, uh, introduce a classification of the spectrum. First, uh, the, we define the exception uh, uh, eigenvalue. Uh, the definition is uh, the ex the the is uh, the for the, uh, the it gives us uh, the uh, following form uh, parameterized by the n the uh, uh, positive non-negative integer. So it is a uh, remains of the harmonic oscillator in some sense, and uh, otherwise we call it a uh, regular regular. And the regular spectrum is always a non-degenerate. And also the exceptional eigenvalues are classified two ways. One is a Judean. Judean is, a, uh, in other words, the, the KSI exact uh, solution. It is essentially the polynomial, like the, the Hermit function there, yes. A final sum of the Hermit function. And the others are the non-Judean exception. Uh, from the, so uh, normally the uh, physicists use uh, this, uh, uh, make uh, this classification uh, by using the uh, Hoyne uh, differential equation, conference Hoyne differential equation. Hoyne differential equation, uh, as you know, the, it is it has uh, uh, basically the four uh, regular singularities, Fuchsian differential equation, but in this case is the conference one. So two uh, regular singularity and one uh, long, uh, uh, Irregular singularity, and but uh, so uh, we can uh, also formulate uh, this classification by the representation theory. <laughs> and so, to determine, I'm uh, very much interested in the degeneracy. So, to determine the Judean uh, uh, solution, polynomial solution, uh, we can uh, define the, anyway the constraint polynomial. So, this polynomial, this recurrence of uh, relation is uh, you can get from the confident point differential equation with uh, 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 so integral uh, difference uh, exponent, but uh, we kill the log term, log singularity term, then we can get this one. Yeah. Three term, three term. Right? Yes, yes. So what, what are these polynomials? What are these polynomials? Are they, are they eigenfunctions? What are they? I'm not quite sure what they are. Uh, you can define them that way, but how do I interpret them? Uh, 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 so if you are, so, so let me also explain the uh, uh, next slide. Uh, so we can define, we define the, the, the constraint polynomial by this uh, recurrence okay. formula. And then next, so look at k equals n, k equals n power. Then, so uh, Judean solution uh, is uh, the, uh, the if, uh, so if uh, this is zero, then this is uh, the uh, Judea solution. Yeah. And uh, what is interesting is, uh, as I told you, degeneration was not expected before the, the uh, Lee Bachelor's numerical observation for epsilon equals one over two. But in general, we can state the following theorem. For epsilon, sorry, for epsilon equals zero, it's explicit, right? Yes. Oh. For epsilon equals zero. Epsilon equals zero. It's, it's, <coughs> you can study it quite yes. explicitly, right? Uh, not explicitly. Not explicitly. It is, uh, so. Uh, uh, I mean, you're saying that degeneracy when epsilon is a half is unexpected. So yeah. the, the degeneracy for epsilon equals zero is, is well understood. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think you had a question. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, uh, so the, the, what's the, uh, I have to go, we have to go back a couple of slides. The delta is what, is a parameter in your equation? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Delta is a parameter. Yeah, where, where did it go? Yeah. What's the difference okay, between no, the no, energy no, levels? Okay, good. So I think, uh, like in quant when you want to make a qubit, it's the base eigenfunction and it's the two-dimensional space. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, today's uh, talk, or most of the uh, that uh, the talks, uh, material is based on the uh, uh, so the joint work of uh, my uh, elderly student and uh, younger student. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, this is our theorem, and uh, so. This uh, constraint polynomial is uh, divided by this one, this one, yeah? And uh, so this is uh, also the polynomial. And uh, 
we assume x equal to d square and um, y equal to the square. So uh, this is uh, always positive. This is always positive. And so <clears throat> from this one, uh, using some uh, elementary manipulation, we can conclude that uh, degenerate agents appears if found only if uh, uh, it's a Judean. And the multiplicity is always two dimensional, too. This is the, the conclusion. And so this is a, the, some, some example. So if you look at this one, uh, this equation, when epsilon is equal to the three over two, then this coincides this one. <clears throat> so it gives her the degeneration. And what is, uh, before I talk about the degeneration and next uh, hidden symmetry, because of Hamiltonian, so apparently you cannot see the, the, the symmetry. Symmetry, I mean the parity, or Z2 symmetry. However, uh, we have this one. This is also the, so first, uh, in the very small case, uh, the, those guys uh, so try to so, uh, find the, 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 some uh, reasonable operator which commute with the Hamiltonian. But anyway, the, the conclusion is this one. The P defined the photon number parity operator. The P square is uh, identity. And in epsilon equals zero case, it gives her the parity, parity. But in general, it is not. And, but for in general, in general, uh, if uh, epsilon equals uh, uh, L over two, or the half integer, then uh, essentially, uniquely, the operator, there is an operator Q node L, uh, from the, the matrix of the uh, uh, two by two matrix of with entry uh, A and A dagger, and uh, uh, it gives her the uh, commutant of the Hamiltonian, good commutant. Actually, if uh, JL uh, defined by this equation, then this is self adjoint and commute with this one, and the others are essentially the, the this plus uh, this times and the uh, polynomial of the Hamiltonian. So, and what is nice is uh, JL square is given by the some polynomial, polynomial, and uh, so that's uh, uh, and also the coefficient is uh, R, and uh, uh, moreover we can we can say that it is Q, and of every L with respect to this component, and also the equation define the hyper uh, elliptic curves. And actually, L equals three and four, it is uh, the elliptic curve. <clears throat> and so, it is a- uh, Going back to the, so uh, is this system somehow integrable or what? Are, are nearly integrable? Ah, nearly integral. Yeah, it was proved by the, the uh, Daniel Bragg uh, in 2011. It was a breakthrough in some sense. Yeah. So what, what, what's the statement about the near integrability? Oh, uh, integrality is a uh, normal, so uh, uh, it is uh, pretty different from the, the, the yeah, yeah. But there are a lot of conserved quantities. Yes, yes. <clears throat> you, wrote, you wrote some of them down, I guess. Okay, okay. so what is uh, 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 interesting is PL is the, the, the polynomial which I defined now. And AL is you can find the so ratio of the two constraint polynomial. Yeah. And I we conjecture so PL, this argument is equal to this one. Yeah. So uh, in the small part it's defined as so elliptic curve, elliptic curve, and I can see oh it's uh, identical and uh, we compute it, it's as a L to the uh, 13 or something, yeah. And we cannot prove this one, main conductor, but once we uh, convince this one, then we have uh, this kind of the excellent uh, approximation for the spectral graph. So, uh, so 
I, what, what, are, what are these pictures represent like on the left side? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, left, left side, this one. No, no, no. That that that's a curve. Yeah, curves. Curves. Yes, curves. What, what are on the coordinates? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So <laughs> it's much easier to see. Okay. Uh, if you look at that, so this one is a uh, the Hamiltonian plus g square, okay. g square, and this is g. All right. Yeah? Okay. And the vertical is the energy lambda e. <laughs> then, if we assume the conjecture, then it's excellently so application is a power. Yeah. And uh, this is a number of the, the so this is four, uh, number of the L, and L is five, and one, two, three, four, five. It is very mysterious. But anyway, and also what is more, uh, this looks this looks like the original quantum lab model. But uh, I don't know the reason why. Anyway, so uh, it is difficult uh, for us to pro prove this one. Also, the, uh, this main conjecture can be uh, expressed equivalently the, the some determinant expression of the, this curve, uh, this equation. And this is uh, the uh, kind of the example. Uh, when L equals three, uh, we take uh, some numericals. And then, uh, so if the, the, the Judean happens, then, so coordinate is this x, x, and uh, this is y, uh, y square, uh, yes, y square is plx, plx. Then uh, you can see uh, 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 this kind of the structure. Uh, if uh, 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 the, there is a so degeneration, it means that uh, uh, the, they are, they are the, just uh, the opposite uh, sign, just opposite sign, and so on. And also, we uh, uh, this is a small uh, conjecture. Maybe we can prove, but anyway, it's still the conjecture. Uh, PLE is always a PLE is non-negative, non-negative. But uh, for the so uh, eigenvalue, uh, except the non-Judean exceptional, it might be positive. And uh, I hope uh, it is always positive, but uh, but I don't know. And also, the, among the physicists uh, and me also, number of the is exceptional eigenvalues is uh, finite, finite. And probably, I think the Judean is uh, finite and just one, just one. But I don't know. Yeah, just a numerical uh, observation. And next, I come to the, the next uh, temas, a heat kernel of the quantum lab model. It is uh, important for me, uh, not for me, but anyway for me to, to uh, see the, 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 the spectral zeta function. But anyway, uh, let's come. So the, the, the heat kernel itself is uh, very, uh, rather complicated. So I just uh, state uh, the, the partition function. Of the, uh, uh, so uh, this one is a QRM, but anyway, yeah. <clears throat> and partition function is obviously a trace of the, the heat kernel, and it is given by this kind of the, the, the uh, uniformly uh, convergent series. And uh, so this one, I didn't give, I don't give you the, the detail, but it is uh, explicitly given by the exponential function. And uh, so, what is good is uh, that every uh, so term is positive, positive. From that, for instance, uh, the, when g goes to the infinity, the spectral zeta function uh, can be uh, the, uh, 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 written by the sum of two Hurwitz zeta functions. And this is uh, the, uh, the derivation process of the analytical formula of the heat kernel. So uh, we take the, the, the uh, so-called uh, trotter formula, trotter cato formula, yeah, product Li formula, Li formula essentially. And this is uh, uh, sometimes uh, considered to be the, the counterpart of the, the Feynman pass integral. But anyway, so. Uh, using the so uh, classical uh, computation uh, like the Gaussian integral, and then 
uh, the problem reduced to the so uh, so we first uh, uh, the, the divide the Hamiltonian in two ways uh, using the so-called Bogolyov uh, transformation, a very simple one, and then uh, there are two uh, operator, two operator, and then the, the, to 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 compute the to use this one, we can control the the commutation relation. <clears throat> yeah, but then the uh, the so we can face uh, uh, the many change of the sign, so we have to control this one, and so using the, the, the Fourier analysis on the F2, uh, uh, G2 or F2, yeah. And then uh, we can have uh, some formula, and then uh, we can uh, take uh, the representative uh, by uh, the, the action of the, the, uh, the infinite symmetry group, then we can get uh, this kind of formula. And so that's uh, the, this sum, this sum is a, a discrete sum, discrete sum in some sense. And also, what is more? That, that formula is not, I mean, the slide on the right seems to have a lot of maybe not rigorous. Oh, this is, uh, this is not yeah, the, the On the left, it's rigorous, right? The, yeah, left, no, no, completely, no, no, completely no, no, rigorous. No, 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 this slide on the left. The slide. Yeah, left. yeah that, that's, that's all rigorous. <laughs> Rigorous, completely rigorous. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe this is uh, for the left of the, the paper, or uh, says that uh, this is uh, uh, the first uh, non-trivial computation of the rigorous uh, uh, analytical formula of the heat kernel. Yeah. So he said, or she said, uh, no one uh, never uh, tried to. Uh, use uh, the total formula to compute uh, heat current. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So what, what's your uh, yeah, what's, the, what's the measure that you're using on the left hand side? The left uh, mu two lambda. What's that mean? What's the mu two lambda? A uh, mu two lambda. Yeah. Mu two lambda is where it is. So, so it, it's the integral you're doing in a sum. Yeah. So uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mu two lambda. Oh, <laughs> mu two lambda is yeah. uh, just uh, so. a so. What's that measure? Yes, major. What is it? Normal major. Or the, uh, uh, is it, it's not a big major, is it? A big major. It's a big major. Just a big major. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> okay. So, so this is the continuity, but it is just an expect, expectation. Expectation. Because, uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, let's skip this one. And then, uh, this is uh, so the, the, my interpretation of the, our formula. And the heat kernel, uh, one uh, interpretation is a geometrical interpretation. And actually, the, what I claim that is an uh, integral, this one, can be seen as the orbital integral of the <laughs> this infinity, symmetric group, symmetric group. This is uh, one point. And as uh, uh, so, so I Z2, I, I, I think Z2, uh, yeah, I think Z2, Z2, not Z2, Z mod two Z yes, cross Z yes 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 okay. and uh, so this uh, quotient is uh, represents uh, yes this one uh, there are so plus minus plus minus but uh, you know, uh, uh, a Fourier decomposition in the plus minuses right yes 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 yes. So this is uh, the one geometrical uh, interpretation. And the another one is uh, the, this one, this sum. This sum is, uh, if you look at the, the action of the S infinity to the D to infinity in the limit, then it is decomposed as this one, irreducible one, irreducible representation. And this is uh, uh, the very simple uh, induced representation, uh, which is uh, the, uh, uh, induced uh, from the so uh, this uh, 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 partition uh, the young group to the infinity uh, to the, the trivial representation. Yeah, uh, this kind of the, so uh, the group action is uh, uh, behind the, the, the our formula, and also uh, it is just a note 
Uh, there is a idea uh, due to the Fagiev uh, that the construction of any irreducible representation can be obtained by Feynman plus integrals or regroup the adjoint orbit or adjoint orbit. And uh, so that uh, our formula looks like this one. <laughs> yeah, actually, so uh, this one is orbital integral. Yes. So, and uh, this is a uh, decomposition of the, the, the uh, uh, S infinity action to the Z2, the Z2 infinity in the irreducible species. Yeah. So in this sense. <laughs> and then I switch to the, the, the another topics, but it is related to the, uh, what I uh, explained to you <coughs> before. So we call it a non-commutative harmonic oscillator. It is a deformation of the harmonic oscillator. Uh, why? So uh, this, this is quite similar to what you had, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Very similar. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a non-commutative. Yes, non-commutative. Because of the, yeah. so, the, if alpha not equal to beta, then uh, this doesn't commute. So the, the, there are two so non-commutatives. One is a kind of dimensional. Okay. Yeah, yes, L2, L2, L2 times C2. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a slightly different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we call it, yeah. So we introduced uh, this one in a uh, long time ago. And uh, so uh, with uh, uh, Albert uh, Parmigiani, who is uh, so expert of the, uh, he, he, he was uh, the student of the paper one. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, if you assume alpha, beta is positive and uh, the uh, products of the alpha, uh, alpha, beta is greater than one, then- Sorry, before you yes. move to this, in your previous thing, do you now explain why what was the explanation of the degeneracy when epsilon is half integer in the uh, end? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the symmetry explained it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so, I, I don't understand quite well, but anyway, so, uh, from this one, yeah. from this one, so, you can compare this one. If, uh, so, n plus l, n plus l, n, and if you take epsilon is minus l over two, l over two, yeah. then n plus l minus uh, minus l minus two equal to the n plus l over two. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So the same g and delta uh, gives you the same n. Uh, I see. Yeah. So that's okay. yeah. very simple. Yeah, so anyway, so uh, let me introduce this one. And then uh, if you assume this condition, uh, then we have a discrete spe spectrum. And the multiplicity is uh, the less than and equal to two. And actually it's a, uh, achieved uh, the multiplicity two. And then we define the uh, spectral zeta function as a series. And when alpha equals beta, it's, we can see the, the since Q is uh, unitarily equivalent to the harmonic oscillator, uh, we have uh, this one uh, is uh, essentially the Riemann zeta function. Sorry, I don't understand. What, what's the connection? Uh, oh, I mean, it's it's fine. just it's it's fine. Fine. It's okay. like the Mindesacarum plyo zeta function of, uh, of an operator. So if the lambdas are integers, like in the harmonic oscillator. Yeah. Actually, so okay. for the harmonic it's oscillator, not a good way to understand zeta anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it is a Riemann zeta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the, 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 this operator for this uh, the eigenfunction obviously n plus yeah, yeah, right. one of half. Yes, and then uh, in general, it is shown that uh, Q uh, this zeta function is metaphorically continued to this, to the whole uh, plane and. Uh, uh, have a has a unique simple pole at S equal <clears> one. <throat> it gives you the y row, obviously, and also the trivial zero. Yeah, there is a, some gamma factor or something. But that, no, that, that's for any q. Any q. Any q. And then, so uh, I'm interested in the spe special value of zeta q s at a positive integer. So we can uh, we can get uh, this kind of formula. 
This is a full width zeta function and this one. This is the essential point. And this is given by the sum of the multiple integrals of certain algebraic function. And it is given by the explicitly. Uh, but it is difficult to integrate, of course. And uh, so kappa is given by the, the, uh, this one. And uh, so this is just depends on the alpha beta minus one and uh, one of the square. Yeah. Yeah. Could, could, you, could you go back to the previous slide? Okay. Yeah. So, so you, you, it's basically the identity operator. You just have the alpha in there. That's all? Uh, no, no, that's when alpha equals beta. Oh, okay. This case. So what, what's the but, but in general, yeah, come back to slide just so, so we see what the equation is. Yeah, write down the non commutative oh, harmonic not okay. 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 And then, so for instance, instance uh, I give you the example. When uh, n equal to 2, uh, we can write uh, R to 1 is uh, this equation. Yeah. So it reminds you there the some kind of the special value of the zeta q, uh, zeta two, zeta two, Riemann zeta two, and we expand this one in this way, in this way, because there is a square root in the numerator. So we call the, this number is a pili like number because it has uh, this kind of the uh, recurrence formula. Because equation, it looks like the appeal numbers for zeta two. Appeal numbers is uh, appeal uh, introduced when he proved the, the irrationality of the zeta three, and zeta three and zeta two. Zeta two is uh, we know always, yeah. But anyway, also the uh, not only this one, uh, like the appeal number, our appeal like number uh, have. Uh, expression by the, the binomial coefficient and also a rationality and the congruence uh, relations. Yeah, deep uh, congruence relation and also the some geometrical the interpretation it gives. And actually, so define the generative function of the appeal like number. Then uh, it's from this one, you can easily get uh, the, this kind of the uh, Ordinary differential equation. Then, so uh, some uh, uh, given initial condition, we can solve the, the, this uh, uh, function uh, in this way, explicitly uh, using the hypergeometry function. Yeah. And from this one, we can uh, uh, compute R21. R21 is uh, this one. This one, and we develop uh, this one, expand this one in this way, and we first calculate uh, our the generative function of this one. And then, generative function is given by this one, and from that, uh, we have uh, this one. So, from this one, obviously, uh, it gives uh, the special value of theta q2. And uh, so, first, uh, we compute uh, this one in the very so naive way. Uh, but uh, so uh, here we go, uh, compute reduce from this one to the, this one, from this one using the, the, uh, the class and uh, identity between F21 square and the F23 and the paths formula. So it means just a parameter, yeah. So also that we have uh, so some uh, modular interpretation for uh, W2P and uh, let's recall the, the EBIT theta functions in this way, then set uh, t is this one. This is a modular function, yeah? And put this one, then uh, w2t is given by, yeah, this one, yeah. And this is a gamma two modular form of weight two. That's an eta, <clears throat> regular eta form. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, this is also the naive version. Uh, question, is there any possibility to express W2T for the zeta Q3 as a special value of a known uh, functions? Three or two? Two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> two. Not three. Yeah, yeah, not three, not three. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that, yeah. And also, so. By, by the way, uh, yeah. maybe that would, uh, you would have to choose your parameters so that maybe the like if you, if you, there's certain hypergeometrics, which are algebraic functions, 
Hmm. And that, I mean, you have to specialize before such a thing would happen, I would imagine. I see, I see. That is my guess. I see. Okay, thank you. And so, anyway, the, in this case, also the so odd number, special value of the odd number is uh, difficult. Yeah. But anyway, the, the different structure we have, uh, but anyway, so I skip this one. And for instance, for the so n equal 4, n equal 4, then so we introduce uh, the differential Eisenstein series uh, from the generalized uh, differential uh, Eisenstein series. So uh, take a derivative and uh, we have this one. And then uh, uh, this uh, differential <laughs> Eisenstein series uh, possesses uh, some kind of the, the uh, symmetry, uh, invariant property. Uh, so it is actually the, uh, so, automatic uh, integrals uh, with weight minus 2k. And uh, also this one, but the group is uh, sufficiently uh, a bit small, take a group, yeah. But using this uh, differential Eisenstein series, uh, W4t is uh, written in this way. So the differential Eisenstein series, sum of differential Eisenstein, and again, derivative times uh, uh, module form, yeah. <laughs> And uh, so, uh, this is uh, the, uh, the uh, some special uh, 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 series for the uh, nearly polymorphic modular form. And uh, so, this is a, a picture of the, the uh, picture for special values uh, study for the non commutative harmonic oscillator. Uh, let me explain the, uh, a bit uh, precisely, but uh, no equation. So, we extend the non commutative harmonic oscillator to the eta non commutative harmonic oscillator. It just puts uh, the addition from the non commutative harmonic oscillator plus this one, plus this one. Yeah. And this has all, also the self adjoint and the possessor of uh, the discrete spectrum under the same assumption on alpha and beta. Then uh, it has also the so. So eigenvalue problem. So Q eta phi gold lambda phi. Uh, this is an eigenvalue problem for the so non commutative harmonic equation is and its extension. Then uh, it is equivalently written as a so uh, uh, point for the existence of uh, some. Uh, uh, holomorphic function uh, in some domain, excluding uh, uh, so this whole ODE uh, possess uh, regular singularity at zero, one, and uh, alpha, beta, and infinity. Yeah. Then uh, this eigenvalue program, the existence of the eigens space is equivalent to uh, be either the existence of the holomorphic function in the domain zero, one, and alpha, beta. Uh, alpha, 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 beta, alpha, beta, yeah. So, and also, in the AQRM, this has also the so uh, H R epsilon uh, F equal uh, lambda uh, F. It is equivalent to the existence of the entire function function uh, uh, of uh, confluent holding uh, OD. So, in this back, background, background, if we tend alpha beta to be infinity, and the sum manipulation we need, not only this one. So actually, so in the case of this one, so <laughs> we extend the uh, non commutative harmonic oscillator or the eta non commutative harmonic oscillator. So anyway, this is true. And this has uh, some parameter, parameter. In, 
including contains uh, some uh, parameter A, which represent which parameterize the uh, uh, representation of SL2. SL2. And uh, so, uh, using her on the ガイサダイソー産業は広島県東広島市に本社を置く100円ショップのダイソーを運営する日本の企業である日本国内にいやそうえ、エヌエソーそうはい、プリフォーザーエクステンドディスワンウィズパラメータベータサムエ<笑><
the by the procedure according to the 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 uh, conference process but we cannot at least now uh, we don't know uh, that uh, that if the that every uh, uh, Judean uh, can be obtained from this one yeah it is mysterious yeah and but anyway so uh, since it looks like the some some kind of the covering or lifting so that the question is what can we say about the relation between the respective spectral zeta function probably it is very difficult but I'm uh, interested in this one. But anyway, so what's the difference? The analysis of the eta, uh, non commutative harmonic oscillator, and the QRM is uh, uh, the first, uh, the, the spectral zeta function. Those have a memorable continuation. And uh, trial zero, and y low. Yeah. But uh, the difference is uh, so. It has a two ways of memory continuation. One is uh, using the parametrics, yeah, uh, which is used uh, to prove the, the uh, memory continuation of the eta non commutative harmonic oscillator. And also, as you can see, the, we have also a partition function formula. So we have a so contour integral representation of the zeta function. So it gives also the memory continuation two ways. And uh, this one is a special one. So we don't know. We are now computing, our, uh, we are now in progress to compute uh, the special value of the positive uh, integer. But anyway, so uh, we don't know much about uh, the, uh, like this one. But anyway, as I told you, uh, the, the special, uh, spe special value of the positive integer uh, <laughs> So related to the, the modular form concretely, and uh, the, the, uh, the generating function W2T uh, gives uh, the period of the universal family of elliptic curves for, with uh, five torsion, I think. And also the uh, appeal-like number, which is um, very resemble to the appeal-like uh, appeal number, and also the relation to the modular Mara measure. And uh, so, uh, but it is very, very difficult uh, so to, to uh, not succeed to, to compute the heat kernel, even the, the partition function of the non commutative harmonic oscillator. But it can be computed. And also, the, this has, uh, you can see easily, the Hamiltonian possesses still the uh, uh, G2 symmetry in the case of this one. But this one, uh, apparently, no. But we can find uh, the, uh, the, the hidden symmetry uh, when epsilon is uh, the half integer. But when epsilon is 0, then the, the, uh, the we can decompose uh, the original Hilbert space into two pieces. And it doesn't depend on the G and delta, but in the half integer case, always depend uh, delta and G. It's in rather complicated. But anyway, so it uh, the, so the, the some kind of the, the uh, description what I explained to you using the the, the uh, hyperelliptic curves. So there are so uh, I think. Uh, 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 still many, many so questions uh, I have uh, uh, now, but uh, uh, for me, it is difficult to solve this one. Yeah, thank you very much. Questions? Can you say what that finiteness conjecture was at the beginning? That yeah. They were, the degeneracies, what was that statement? Right. So you had some conjecture that there's only finitely many or infinitely many defined. What was it? Uh, the, 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 so, uh, uh, the, 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 no, actually, Judean solution, or, uh, yes. so exceptional solution. Yeah. It must be the, the, the finite number. And what kind of 
So it's a conjecture. There is a conjecture. And what kind of mathematics would give you that? It's a diamond uh, problem. It's a entire function problem. You, you don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know. So maybe it's uh, not maybe. So one possibility is uh, the the the, uh, the related to the entire function theory. But uh, another is uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so already the the most of the physicists convinced. Yeah, okay. it is finite, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, why? That's numerics or is it numerics? numerics? Yes, yeah. of, of course, the numerics. And, and finite means how much? Finite means? Yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> I I this is my opinion. Just a one. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good finite number. And why are the physicists computing the spectrum so far for this model? I mean, as Tom said, I'd imagine that the statistical physics of this is a quite, is, does this play a role? Why are they going so high in the spectrum? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it just mathematically well, interesting? Yeah. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I, can, I can imagine that uh, yeah. any spectral yeah. problem is difficult yeah. if you can't just write down the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so, the question is uh, pretty different from the pieces. But anyway, for, for me, the, 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 so the, this kind of the partition function, uh, to know the partition function is, uh, the, is equivalent to know the, 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 the function in some sense. Okay, but I, anyway. I know you like the spectral thing. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, uh, though I, uh, I, we, we, we never know, we, we don't know the, the partition function uh, of the non commutative harmonic oscillator still. But uh, we know we have uh, some description of the uh, uh, special value of the uh, negative integer point, mm -hmm. yeah, using the extension of the Bernoulli polynomial, yeah. But using this one, uh, maybe you can you have a so a partition yeah. function. In the yeah, I mean, if you know if the functions are entire and you know them at so many points, there's a famous Selberg integral. That's exactly how you, you calculate it. Uh, Dyson was trying to do it. McDonald mm -hmm. and Dyson, and, uh, as you know, he he had done it in his youth. Mm -hmm. The key was to use Kalman. Uh, you know, if you have an entire function and you know it at enough points, you actually know it, and you could compute it at the negative integers. Mm -hmm. it would be useful in this context. Yeah. I mean, hmm. that's that's how he evaluated the, which is anyway, yeah, a lot of special functions. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's a lot, a lot of structure there. Yeah. yeah so. And uh, also, well, the physicists always say that there's only the harmonic oscillator. Then they explain everything in terms of everything that's integrable in terms of the harmonic oscillator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And do your do your colleagues, Jimbo, the Jimbo school, yeah. do they look at this at all? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. no, but uh, so uh, anyway, so as a subject, I have to call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, so and actually, so it is uh, the rigorous formula. And you can see this kind of the series expansion for the several uh, uh, models in physics, like the Tondo model, Tondo or, model. Uh, yeah, spin model model. But uh, it is uh, just a formal one from using the expansion, using the, the Feynman cuts uh, representation of the, the heat current. But uh, in that case, uh, it is uh, the, 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 the sign is oscillating always. So it does not give you the, the very exact, uh, exact simulation result. But in this case, uh, for instance, this is completely positive. So it has also advantage for the, this kind of the explicit form, I think. Yeah. Okay, I guess, <laughs> thank you.